I made two ornament jigs this year this using the scrap plywood and nails, I made. but I and don't just use looks. them to hold the ornaments, my Christmas is. ornaments, while I'm doing paint pouring. This thing is an absolute game changer. But in I my don't just room. use it. I use it as a pedestal. So these are the ornaments that I've had in this box. They were oops. They were broken or, you know, boo-boos. Okay, boo-boos. Rather than throw them away because they're expensive, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a revamp. Like this one, I had probably put a little seahorse or starfish or something on here. So I'm gonna give this one a remake. And then there's some others in here that are really, you know, they're the right color. They just need a little bit of help. I pick these out and put them on my pedestal. Then I'm gonna get out my molds and my air dry clay and give them a remake. I don't know about this one. This one just needs a bubble. I don't know about that one. And they're just a few I'm not gonna use. The big ones, I'm gonna do another time. I got a plan for those. So it's not bad. I mean, color-wise, they're good. They're just missing a little bit of, um, I guess, window dressing. So I have cornstarch, uh, which will help the air dry clay re uh, release from the mold. Oh, I have all kinds of molds. I have a seahorse. I have these sea turtles. Those would be good. I have this seahorse, but I'm gonna use this seahorse. And I do have this mold that I made but I don't know if that'll be too big I need some space here I'm gonna scoot this over favorite little makeup brush I'm actually gonna try this one first I'm kind of curious about this one you don't really need very much cornstarch but it's kind of hard to get just a little bit in there I'm using DAS air dry clay. This is from Amazon. This isn't the cheapest clay, but it's the clay that I prefer using. I get consistent, consistently good results from it. And make sure you do have it in an airtight container, like a Ziploc freezer bag maybe, or even a... Um, like a yogurt tub with a strong lid. So just work it a little bit. Make sure your hands are clean. Just work it a little bit. Just like you would um, if you were using ceramic clay. Ooh. And I'm just gonna work it in little pieces. I need to remake this mold but that's not bad it's not bad I just need to remake it so I'm gonna try to put this on one of these but I don't know which one maybe this one then I'm gonna put some glue on the back I have a Mod Podge in a squirt bottle and I have it marked Mod Podge so that I don't get it confused with my white paint I'm gonna squirt a little bit and then Get a little brush and just brush it on. Ah. This will help it stick. Which one did I say? This one. And I'm going to put it on there while it's wet so that when it dries, it'll take the shape of the ball. What do you think? I 
once it dries, then I will seal it. A little bit of water and just smooth it out. Smooth out the cracks. I mean, that's not bad. Now I am gonna color it, okay? I am gonna color it. So now we gotta make a lot more. I'm speeding this part up because it took about 45 minutes to an hour to make enough of the air dry clay molds for all of these ornaments. So I didn't want you to sit through 45 minutes to an hour of all that boring footage. I'm really, really happy that the, the starfish mold turned out okay. It's a little heavy for the ornament, but I'm gonna be remaking that mold anyway. I'm gonna be just making a new silicone mold because I made I made that one using a starfish that I had that I, that I bought on Amazon. Um, so I made the mold myself. I need to remake it. It's just a little bit cracked and kind of old and um, not very pretty, but so I made a couple of starfish, I made a couple of the sea turtles, the flat sea turtles, and then a couple of the seahorses, and then a couple of small turtles and small starfish, and got them all done. And then I let them dry overnight, and then on to the next step. I think I'm just gonna paint these, and uh, call it a day. I'm going to be honest and transparent. I was not doing a very good painting job. I was not being very neat at all and getting frustrated. Just, I'll make it work. I think the next time I make some air dry clay molds, I might try painting the clay while it's still wet and then gluing it onto the ornament. I don't know if this will work. I don't really work with air dry clay all that much. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to let it dry and then you paint or if I can paint while it's still wet. I don't know. Let me know if you're if you've worked with air dry clay if you've done this. But I think that's what I'm going to do next time. That way I'm not having to be so precise with the paint cuz I'm I'm just not very good at painting with a small brush. I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to seal. I'm going to try sealing with um Mod Podge. Nah, I don't really like that. So definitely no for the glitter. This is the Sesso Mica Powder in Aqua. I'm gonna give this a try on this uh, seahorse here. My brush is still wet from the Mod Podge, but I just dip it directly into the Mica Powder, brush it on the clay, and it seems to work. I like that one. That one's kind of cute. Well, let's finish the uh, seahorses. This coppery gold mica powder that I'm using, I've had for a long, long time, and I honestly do not remember where I got it. Well, now that looks really neat. I like that one. Eye candy, no con blue. Let's try one with that. That is really cool. Do you see that? Do you see that? It's just going in the cracks and it's giving it a really, really neat look. I'm liking that. So I'm, I think I'm going to do my other seahorse the, with the blue, the no con blue. And this is by eye candy, the no con blue. So I added mica powder to a few more of the seahorse molds, and then I found out that I can just seal it immediately with Mod Podge, and it works perfectly. I'm gonna do the big starfish now. I think the better idea is to put the Mod Podge on. And then the mica powder. This idea was kind of a fail. It may look good in theory, but adding the Mod Podge first and then brushing on the mica powder makes the mica powder just kind of clump up and it's not really a shimmery look. It's it's just, there's just too much mica powder. 
So I went back to my original idea, which is just brushing on the mica powder onto the onto the dry clay and then sealing it with the top coat of Mod Podge. And it just that just worked out a little bit better. It gave me the look that I was going for, which is more of a, you know, kind of a muted look. You know, just a more subtle, highlighted look. And you know, Mermaid Trash makes everything look a lot better. So I'm using Mod Podge to attach the Mermaid Trash and then also brushing the Mod Podge on to seal the mica powder in. But I'm not adding a whole lot of the Mermaid Trash, just enough to highlight a couple of, you know, a couple of areas on each of the ornaments. It just gives it kind of a, I don't know, a really underwater, oceany, beachy feel. So not too much, but not too little either. The next day, once I was sure everything was nice and dry, I just took the end caps that I had taken off of the ornaments before adding the, um, you know, the molds and the mermaid trash, just took the little silver end caps and just pop those, pop those back on the ornaments. That, that's all I'm doing here. I got so excited about, about finishing these that I forgot to film the reveal. I just stuck them in a box. Oh, I love these. I mean, I've got, you know, I've, I've learned, I've learned a couple of things on, on these definitely. If I'm using the air dry clay, I for sure need to paint them before I put them on the ball. But I mean, painting afterwards turned out okay. Using the mica powder definitely, definitely was a game changer. Um, this one, I love, love, love that one. Oh my gosh, and the seahorses. This one, I love that one. The other one with the glitter, oops. Not so thrilled about, but it's okay. So, I'm glad I didn't trash these. I just gave them a little bit of a makeover. Let me know what you think. Mermaid trash, using my mermaid trash. Good stuff.